What's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about and showing you some revolvers and why people hate them in general for carry purposes. All right, in a minute, we're going to jump down the bench and take a look and discuss some reasons why people may have an issue with revolvers. I brought out a few different varieties of revolvers to use as talking points. However, none of these do I consider to be the be all end all. They're just my personal opinions. All right, with that said, let's jump down the bench and get into it. All right, we're down on the bench here, so let's get into it. Okay, so why do people hate revolvers? Well, I don't think it's so much they hate them. I think they just hadn't shot them enough growing up and shooting revolvers much. Now, the biggest argument you'll get is capacity, and we'll get to that in a minute. But also, most people will see them as old school, and they can't compete with a modern firearm of today. Me, personally, I think the new generation of kids coming up will only think of a Glock and not an old school Colt revolver of the past. Now, let's get the elephant out of the room right away. Capacity can't be argued because most wheel guns only carry five or six. However, I do happen to have an eight shot right here that's cut for moon clips and can be reloaded with some serious speed. Plus in my state, you can only carry 10 rounds. So this one right here is as good as it gets. All right, again, when you talk revolvers, most people are gonna think of this. This is an old school single action cowboy gun. This is a fantastic gun, nothing wrong with this to go into the range and you know having some fun and shooting with this. This is what I grew up on with my dad, took me to the range when I was a kid and we started with an old school Ruger six shot single action uh, cowboy gun and it was great, it was fantastic. It was chambered in 22 long rifle and 22 Magnum. But again, most people think of this when they think of revolvers or an old school cop 38. But the truth of the matter is there's, there's much other revolvers out there to choose from nowadays. People just get hung up on this as when you talk about carrying a revolver, they think of an old school cowboy gun. So that's why revolvers get some hate, but mostly against capacity. Now, when we want to talk capacity, guys, this, this particular revolver right here, this is a Smith & Wesson Performance Center 327. This is scandium and titanium. It weighs nothing. This gun weighs about as much as this pug right here. I'm not even kidding you guys. Go, go look online and, and run the numbers. I don't have them on, off the top of my head, but this gun is super, super light. And this is an eight-shot revolver cut for moon clips. It can be speed-loaded pretty darn fast, like I said. Here's the ammo for it. This is 357 Magnum, eight shot with the moon clips. You'll just give this a little shimmy, shake it in there. And uh, of course on camera, you're gonna have trouble with it, but you get the idea. You practice with any of this stuff and you can, you can reload with this just as quick as you can in magazine. Boom, dump it right in and it's ready to go. Pop it out, eight shots come out. You'll throw another eight in and this thing's ready to get back into the fight. This is a super light, super, super light revolver. Like I said, eight shots it carries like a dream this is my go-to for a revolver when i carry a revolver so there's many options out there this here is a judge this is polymer this is also very light as well this is only a five shot like most are five or six shot but this carries 410 shotgun shells and i got this loaded up at the hornaday critical defense these are pretty much two nine millimeter balls backed up by another nine millimeter hollow point with the uh this has the uh, polymer inside there, so it expands. Great round. So this is a five shot Judge and 410, very light. But again, comparing all these, this, this right here, the scandium titanium is super light. And you know, if you, if you had to carry anything, guys, you can't carry a semi-auto that's gonna be this small. Here's another option. Look at the size of this thing. This is just a total, total mouse gun. It can fit in your watch pocket or your jeans. And this thing is chambered in 22, Long rifle and 22 Magnum. You just swap out the cylinder. And in this particular one, I carry these. These are Hornaday Critical Defense with the polymer tip. Great little round for this little gun. If you have to leave the house with something, rather have this than nothing. But again, revolvers just get a bad rap in general, guys. People just carry in Glocks and they're so hung up on capacity. I mean, in my mind, if you're gonna have to draw your weapon, I just want to get out of a bad situation. I'm not carrying a gun to kill anybody or look to get myself in trouble, but it's just to get out of a bad situation. And I understand, you know, multiple attackers, more rounds is better. But with that said, you're trying to get out of there in a hurry. You're trying to leave and just get yourself to safety, you and your family to safety. So, you know, I don't really worry too much about capacity. And again, I live in a state where we're handcuffed to 10 rounds. So this eight shot revolver suits me well. Okay, again, I think revolvers get a bad rap in general. Barring these two single action ones here on the outside, I think any double action revolver that has a gate that swings open can be trained with, and you can be just as efficient with this revolver as you can with a semi-automatic, in my opinion. 
I've seen guys do it, uh, you know, me personally with this 327, I'm pretty damn quick with it. I know on camera I fumbled with it, but again, everything on camera doesn't work out. So again, I've trained with this a lot and I'm pretty proficient with it. Again, the best tool you have is the one you have on you. So if you're going to carry a revolver, just make sure you train with it like anything else. You know, these single action ones, I, I get that. I understand that. This North American Arms, you have to take the cylinder out to reload. This single action cowboy action, you have to open the load gate and take them out one at a time. So those are out. But a double action revolver, again, that has a cylinder that opens, you can absolutely reload pretty darn quick with these things if you train with them. It's a little different than a magazine, of course, but if you have moon clips like this 327, you got these moon clips, you just dump them in and go, or a speed loader. I mean, if you train with it again, you could be pretty proficient with a revolver. I just think revolvers get a bad rap in general, and, uh, you know, I love them. I grew up on a revolver. That's when I first started shooting. So I get it. A lot of the younger generation coming up, you know, they're out shooting Glocks and, you know, semi-automatics. I get it. But there's nothing like an old-school revolver. I love the nostalgia of them. I mean, they're, they're just awesome and fun to shoot, in my opinion. So I think they get a bad rap in general. I carry this 327 on a regular basis. This is in the rotation. So, I mean, I know what it's like to carry a revolver. And this thing's a dream to carry. Again, eight shots. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Cut from moon clips so you can get a fast reload. This thing's pretty sweet to carry. And it weighs nothing. This thing is truly... It's not much heavier than this little North American arms. It's pretty crazy. But again, they get a bad rap, in my opinion, revolvers, just because capacity, which I do understand that most are six shot or five shot, but this is an eight shot. There are options out there. There is a 10 shot, but that's a 22 Magnum, and I don't want to get into ballistics. That's another video. But if you're going to carry anything, this is probably the highest capacity revolver you can carry. It's an eight shot. So, you know, get a good look. That's a lot of holes there, 357 Magnum. So there are options. I don't know why it's so hated in my opinion, but I just wanted to make a video on why, you know, I think people hate the revolver. I think it's just, uh, it's a capacity thing and a weight issue. I get it. But again, if you train with it, you can be just as proficient with this as a semi-auto. All right, guys, we're going to hop out for some final thoughts. All right. So I hope this video was entertaining and informative at the same time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notified when I make new content, and we'll see you guys in the next one.